Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And if you're new here, I am Jim. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in Luminar Neo, which I love, as you may know. If you haven't seen my new Luminar Neo videos, there's a playlist for you. It's got like 60 something videos in it now. I'm not sure of the number, but anyway, there's a lot because I love it and I like to make videos about it. In this video, I've got this photo here. And what I wanted to do is to show you how quickly and powerfully you can adjust your images if you learn the tools, and I'm a big advocate of experimenting and learning the tools. Now, I'm just gonna hit on a few things here, but I wanna show you the powerful and incredible impact you can have on an image without taking a whole lot of time. So, I'm gonna start here in um, Develop, which is where I recommend starting, and I especially recommend that you have a raw file if possible. So, I'm gonna just make some basic adjustments here. All I'm trying to do is really just balance out the light. Maybe something about like that. I am gonna go a little bit cooler and just give it a touch of saturation. I don't do a ton of saturation. I tend to do a little bit more vibrance, but there's a lot of color in this scene, and I wanna bring that up. And there's my base image. So there it is before, and there it is after. Now I'm gonna pop into something else that I love to use to adjust the light, and that's Super Contrast, which is one of the reasons I have it in my favorites category. I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda of click through here, and that's generally what I do, is just come in and move them about a third of the way, and then I come and play with balance to see how this is impacting the photo overall. I, uh, I don't really normally have a plan with Super Contrast. It is something that I just experiment with and just move things around. In other words, I season to taste until I get something that I like. I think that looks pretty nice. There it is before, there it is after a great tool, Super Contrast. I did a video about it there. It is one of the key tools, I think, in Luminar that will give you the most impact on adjusting the light in your photo. So I'm happy with that. One thing that I love, absolutely just adore, is Golden Hour. I'm gonna just, for lack of a better word, slap this across the entire photo, but it gives a nice little bit of a warm punch. There it is before, and there it is now, a little bit richer, warm colors where the warm colors already exist. So I think that looks fantastic. Speaking of color, there's a little bit I wanna do here, and I wanna go into saturation. Now the orange, I'm gonna bring the saturation up a little bit. It's gonna pop some of those warmer tones, like in that house. The yellow, I'm gonna bring down slightly, and the green, I'm gonna bring down even a little bit more. I'm just basically trying to control the color without overdoing it. There it is before, there it is now. It's not a massive difference. It's visible to me, but I just kind of like this overall tone. Now, here's something else I like to use when I want to give the photo a little bit of umph. Like, I like this photo. It's very kind of painterly, for lack of a better word, and I think it's a beautiful scene, and I've got some nice colors. Accent AI is a great tool to come in and just kind of give it a little bit of pop. I tend to be a little bit generous, excuse me, I tend to be a little bit careful with it. I don't want to be too generous. Like 45 is kind of pushing the limits. But if you look at the before and after, it really pops the photo. And by the way, I also did a video about Accent AI, which you can see there, where I talk about using it later in the editing process, like I'm doing here. I think it's often something that people may go to right out of the gate. I recommend using it a little bit later after you've made some other edits. And I'm gonna come in with Structure AI. As I said, this photo is a little bit of a painterly kind of look. Negative Structure AI is a great way to kind of get that look, but I only wanna apply it to certain areas, and those areas include the sky and the water. So this is where Mask AI comes in. Incredibly powerful tool, lots of control over the photo. It identifies subject matter in the photo for you, like the sky, I click that, there you go. It also identifies the water. I'm gonna go ahead and click that, there you go. And I've basically got the negative structure applied to the sky and the water almost automatically, whereas in the past, I used to have to brush that in. I don't have to do that anymore. There it is before, and there it is now, slightly smoothing out the photo. I'm gonna go ahead and commit that. There are a couple of dust spots. I'm gonna click on the erase tool and click on remove dust spots. Let it go in and do that for me. They may not be visible to you, but I can see them here. But regardless, I'm gonna let Neo go in and take care of that for me. And it's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and commit that. And the last thing I wanna do is just crop this because I do think I can tighten up the composition a little bit and get a little bit better focus. So I'm gonna go in here, 16 by nine. I'm gonna pull this in from the right. I don't want any of that tree, but I do wanna pull this a little bit higher. So I'm gonna go all the way to the top. But what I've done is cut out that tree, which to me is a little bit visually distracting. And also all these kind of bits of plant or whatever they are there in the uh, bottom left corner. I'm gonna click apply, get that crop done. And I've got a finished photo, my friends. Let me show you the before. 
There you go. That's what my photo looked like. That includes the crop, of course, but that's what the photo looked like. Had a lot of potential to be a kind of impactful photo, but it was kind of drab, kind of bland, for lack of a better word. And now it's certainly a bit more colorful. I do like my colors. You can, of course, adjust that or season to taste. But I'd be able to adjust the light with develop and super contrast and accent AI, use HSL and golden hour to come in and make some adjustments to the colors. And I've got a photo that I love, my friend. So one more time, here it is before. And there it is now. That's my final edit. Quick, easy, powerful. That's Luminar Neo for you. So much you can do if you practice and use the tools. I'm going to come back with another video to talk about a couple of things that will help you get better at using this. If you want to hear about that, leave me a comment down below or a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, my friends. I'll be back soon. You guys take care of yourselves. And until then, my friends, adios.